Gentlemen, we are in London. We are on our way to our first stop, which is Selfridges. And afterwards, we're going to meet with someone very special and we will meet them in Harrods. Whenever Bloom Perfumery is open, we'll go to Bloom Perfumery to smell a lot of unique, cool fragrances that aren't available everywhere. So I'll see you in Selfridges. And this is Jonathan from the Danish TikTok channel, Duftrangne. So let's go to Selfridges. Let's go. So we're at Ex Nihilo. Jonathan is trying blue talisman right here. Tell us what you think. I'm not the biggest fan, but I want to see your reaction. Let's see. It's very smooth, blue fragrance, but how expensive it is, I'm sure it's way overpriced. Yeah, overpriced yeah. and overhyped, but anything special. Yeah, I also think there are better blue fragrances out there, especially for the price. But it's a nice everyday wear blue fragrance with a very prominent grapefruit accord, I would say. Yeah. It's not listed, but I definitely get the grapefruit here. I can see that. But what we're saying is it a thumbs in the middle? It's, 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 smell, it's a good smell, but you know, for the price, you can get other stuff for the same price. It's a, a very big. I think this way, but the Jonathan things is this way. So we've just left Selfridges and then we've been to Arabian Oud where I have this tester strip here with a pineapple heavy fragrance. It's so good. Jonathan doesn't like it no, but no. I think it smells very pungent, very sweet, almost pineapple it juice like. Cheap. I think it smells cheap amazing. But now we're going to Liberty to try some different fragrances in there after the tear disappointment of Ex Nihilo. We are officially at Bloom Perfumery. We're starting off with imaginary oils, and I just look at all the fragrances in here. There are so many. Apparently there's a thousand perfumes in here. But we're starting with imaginary office. Gentlemen, we are here at Lesson Tours Perfumery and I'm here with... TJ Talk Sense. Yes, people, we are <laughs> in here. And I'm going to ask TJ what his fragrances are from the store. Let's head inside. So TJ, what are your favorite fragrances in here? In here? You can just point out whatever you like. Has to be one from Memoirs of the Perfume Collector. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago. It's Tells from Zanzibar. It's absolutely beautiful, man. This nice fresh guava oud fragrance Still, that can be worn in the summer, right? Per perfect summer fragrance. I wore it when I went to Turkey a couple weeks ago. I absolutely loved it, man. It sounds crazy. It smells decent, I think. And I think definitely things crowd pleaser, even though it's kind of unique. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Anything else? Maybe something darker, which I really enjoy. That you really enjoy. I showed you one. But also something that you like as well. I'm, after all, asking for your favorites. So I'll show you two. This one I showed you. This one is Indigo Smoke from Arquiste. This one's uh, much more dark. You'll see a smokier fragrance like this, some incense in there or something really nice. But then one from Per Noir over here is this one here. This one is called Amaral. Let's just spray it quickly. Have you tried this yet? I've tried it just shortly. It's a little bit animalic. It's just an animalic. A little animalic, smoky, but definitely dark, yeah. very captivating. That's definitely your autumn winter kind of fragrance. Yeah. If you're rocking this, gentlemen, it's game over. <laughs> wow. I can also highly recommend from the same brand, Tierra. This is a yes. very fruity and pear like scent with this very sensual oud in the base. This is so good, you guys. If you ever get to try Pernod Noir, I can highly recommend this. And I've got a little inside scoop. There's two new ones coming out. I can't tell you the name of them, but listen, one of them is a 10 out of 10. You heard it here first. <laughs> Is there anything else? This. Something maybe more well-known, but still very good. Something that you think this is a must try. A must try. So one that's super underrated is from this brand. So loads of people know Etat Libre, but I'm telling you, everyone always goes for this frustration because it's a little bit of a gourmand. Mm -hmm. But this one, I think if you like uh, Maison Crevelli's Oud Maracuja, you have to try this. This was made by Quinton Bish as well, I think. And so a master perfumer, you know it's gonna be good. Oh, it's got a little fruitiness in there, spicy. You've got some patchouli in there. Let me know what you think. I think it's really nice. It's one you don't hear anybody talking about. This guy doesn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. If you like something like Oud Maracuja or yeah. Ombre Nomad, you would like this. And this is Experimentum Crucis. And in there, two ingredients that work really well. You've got apple and you've got rose. 
It's yeah. really good, man. I have this crisp apple note with this very almost jammy rose, very complex, very well nuanced. But that's yeah. a super underrated one. I bought this a few months ago. I hardly speak about it. I keep it for myself. You're a gatekeeper. A little bit. I thought you were up against gatekeeping. Uh, just, just that one a little bit, just for the autumn and winter. Just but for autumn yeah, and yeah, winter. yeah. So yeah, they're the three kind of. One last one. One last one. All right, let's take you over here to LEP. This one here, these guys are gonna go into Harrods and try Amber Supermassive, but I'm this telling you, this Venice Supermassive, oh, it's so good, man. This is the cameraman's Jonathan's favorite brand. <laughs> He's so, nodding, uh, yeah, yeah. He already knows what's up. This one, have you tried this before? I have a sample of it, I haven't got given it full wearing yet. It's got a nice little sweetness to it. You obviously got vanilla, but it's like a vanilla bean almost. Oh, that is just- I can get behind it. <laughs> I'm t have you worn this on skin before? I own it. You own it, on yeah. skin? Longevity is crazy with most of these, but I think Amber Supermassive might be a little bit better. So when you try that, let me know. I can't wait to try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to it's, try it's it. It's like a sticky, almost like Grand Soir, like, but with the vanilla in there as yeah. well. Oh. Does it remind you of the original? Not so much. No. no. It's definitely better. But gentlemen, a combination of Amber Superfluid Ooh. and Grand Soir, that sounds insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I can highly recommend Vanille Supermassive. It's not my favorite vanilla fragrance of all time, but it's still a very good one. Yeah. So gentlemen, these were TJ Toxin's favorite fragrances from Les Tours. Yes. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog so far. Yeah. See you, my people. Love for the love, my people. Yes, sir, that's what <laughs> I meant to say. <laughs> my God, let's go. So it's almost six o'clock. We've met up with TJ. He's now left. We were in Harrods in the perfume hall. We're going back to Harrods to go up to the sixth floor and try the most exclusive fragrances. Now we're drinking some water, yeah. getting replenishments and just relaxing because our feet are exhausted. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Nose exhausted, legs exhausted and the water is very well needed. We are in Harrods. We're on the way up to the sixth floor floor, the perfumery hall. I'll see you up there. Now the original straight to heaven to two o'clock. Wow. This is more fragrance I've tried. Oh my god. Actually, oh. here's a very last we have. So after an immensely long day, we are back at the hotel. We are knackered, 26,000 steps later, a meeting with TJ and a bunch of fragrance smelling. We are back at the hotel room. Hell yeah. Men det skal lige fortælle. <laughs> Nej, hvor fed. Er den ikke? Er du sikker? Jeg er helt sikker. Er du helt sikker? Jeg er helt sikker. Er du sikker på, at du ikke bruger 5.000 på den? Jeg er helt sikker. <laughs> Men den er dejlig. Ja, det er den. Meget anderledes også. Men ikke noget til 25.000. Nej, selvfølgelig det er der ikke noget, der er. Men den er god. Den er virkelig god, faktisk. Mm. Det er noget, den koster 50.000. Ja, det er 
Vi vil lige have noget food person, der gør det. Ja. And we are back in Denmark after a successful weekend in London with lots of samples, a lot of very cool fragrance experiences, a collab with TJ, which was long overdue. And now we're back in Denmark. Yeah. So, uh, Jonathan, we'll see you very soon, especially here on the channel. It's uh, long overdue as well, where we, we make a collab. Yes, Men's yeah. improvement and Duft Lagne finally on YouTube. Lots more of me in the future. Can't wait. See you, buddy. See you. So here is my ride home when he come from Nordic what Sense. Up? He ordered two the brand new Versace Eros Energy the for bag. his sampling company. So I did him a favor, he's doing me a favor Huge by favor. driving me home. Huge favor. Thank and you, that's the least that I can do for you to drive me home. Yeah, and of course. It's so of good course. to see you again. It's gonna and be a great we ride. Have to link up for my channel at some yeah, point. I'm and gonna for come your to calling channel as well. Let's do it. So let's finally go home and end this vlog. Let's do it. <laughs> This is the 19th of August. So I've been editing this video for the entire day of today. I want to put out this vlog as soon as possible. And here is the one and only purchase I made, which was in Bloom. It is Imaginary Author's Sun Drunk. This is such a ripe, juicy, zesty, citrusy forward fragrance that feels like it has the entirety of an orange in there. And some of the notes here are Neroli, Root, Barb, honeysuckle, rose water, orange zest, and a first kiss accord. Again, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but again, that's the whole premise of imaginary authors with a very unique take on fragrances and some unique accords that they create with a unique story to every individual fragrance. It comes with the very cool packaging of a book, which I think is super interesting. And Jonathan bought in love with everything, which was this very powdery, airy, sweet scent, which was also very good. I was split between this fragrance and the City on Fire, which is this very dark, smoky fragrance, which I think was incredible. But gentlemen, if you enjoyed this vlog of me and Jonathan from Dove Dagne going to London for fragrance shopping and fragrance exploring and linking up with other people, then don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the Men's Improvement channel as well for more videos about fragrance, grooming, style, fashion, skincare, fitness, watches, and everything that will make you gentlemen the best possible versions of yourself. The last few things I want to ask you to smile more because it's free and I want you to watch these two videos right here. This one here below is going to be my latest upload rest. This one up here is going to be video that YouTube algorithm thinks you will enjoy.